seconds. I went over a minute and 20 seconds. I will add that to my time. So here's the thing. I'm going to place in the record a couple of important documents. Mr. Alfred, we, get, we have your address as Washington, D.C. That's you, correct, ma'am. You live in Washington, D.C.? Personally, I live in Bethesda, yeah. Maryland. Okay, because you said you were from California. So I'm a native of California, born and raised. Yeah, but right now... I was there when you came. You don't know when I came. Now, was that 62? Actually, you're right on target. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the manual, man. Actually, it was 1965. Mm -hmm. uh, here's what I want to tell you. You don't live there now. I I'm a property that. owner, and I pay taxes sir, in California. Sir, let me talk to you. Yes, ma'am. This is friendly. I want, I want us to go back there together. I want you to come with me and John, and let's go see these jobs you say don't exist. So what we're going to yes, do is, good, put in the record the Pew Charitable Trust report, which says, and I'm reading one sentence, <clears throat> Jobs in the clean energy economy grew at a faster rate than total jobs in the Golden State between 98 and 2007. And it talks about all of that, and mm -hmm. driven by venture capital and the laws on the books. So we're going to put that in the record. Then we're going to put the NAACP resolution that passed, saying this. The NAACP pr approved a historic resolution addressing climate change legislation for the first time in the organization's history. We're what does that mean? Sir, we're going to put that in the record, and you can read it, because I don't can have I the time, but I'll read uh, the What does that mean, it. though? I mean, NAACP has a resolution. What does that mean? Sir, they could say the same thing about what do you mean. I'm just telling you I've got documentation. they passed it, sir. They passed it. Now, also, if that isn't <clears throat> interesting to you, we'll quote John Grant, who is the CEO of 100 Black Men of Atlanta, quote, Clean energy is the key that will unlock millions of jobs, and the NAACP's support is vital to ensuring that those jobs help to rebuild urban areas. So clearly, there's a diversity. Madam again. Chair, that if is can, condescending can, to me. If I, well, I'm the National Black Chamber of this, Commerce, this, and you're trying to put up some other this, black group if this to pit against me. If this, if, this gentleman, if this gentleman were here, he would be proud that he was being quoted. Just he, that he, he should have been, been invited. Proud. Just as he would be proud. It is condescending just to me. So, just so you know, he would be proud that you were here. He's proud, I'm sure, proud, that proud. I am quoting that, him. All that's condescending, and well, I, I sir, don't like it. It's racial. What's I racial? don't like it. Excuse me, I sir. Take a, I take offense to it. Okay. As an African-American and a veteran of this country, I take offense to that. Offense at the fact that I would quote... You're, you're quoting some other black man. Why don't you quote some other... No. Asian or somebody. Well, I mean, me, what, you me be are being clear. racial here. Okay, let me be And clear. I think you're going, getting to a path here let me that's going to explode I'm going in the to post. respond right now. I'm going to ask everyone to listen to what I said. First, I placed in the record the Pew Charitable Trust study. Very important study for our state, our home state of California. Then I wanted to make a point that the fact is there's definitely differing opinions in the black community, just as there are in my community. You're speaking on behalf of the black community? No. I am putting in the record a statement by the NAACP. Why? As, because I think it is quite relevant. I understand, I, understand the Pew, I think the, I understand the Pew study. But, but you why don't are you think, doing the NAACP? Why are you doing the Colored People Association study well, with the Black Chamber of Commerce? I am trying to show the diversity of support that diversity. we have. And I will go ahead and do one more diversity of support. The oil companies. The oil companies. I think they're an important part of this conversation. The oil companies are the ones who funded the very first CRA report that you support. I think it's important to note. I have no that idea Exxon, of that. I'm putting it in the record, sir. ExxonMobil gave hundreds of thousands of dollars for that report. So I think it's important when we have a debate here that we look at the diversity of opinion and who agrees and disagrees. Madam Chairman, I have that's something to put in the record. That's what I've decided to do. I have something to put in the record. Madam. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think if you're going to put the NAACP paper in the record, I want to enter the actual resolution because it Absolutely. does not endorse this. And I would also say that uh, CRA is well respected and, and represents a broad group of it. whoever goes to them and wants to study, they do it. Senator, Senator, as I said, we've been looking at energy policy since 1996. 
And we are referring to the experts, regardless of their color. And for someone to tell me, an African-American, college-educated veteran of the United States Army, that I must contend with some other black group and put aside everything else in here, this has nothing to do with the NAACP and really has nothing to do with the National Black Chamber of Commerce. We're talking energy. And that, that road the chair went down, I think it's god-awful. Okay, let me say, as someone who's married to a veteran, there's nothing to do with this conversation. I just want to say to you, sir, and to all of my panelists, how much I respect your views. I will put a number of other documents in the record from many other organizations, because right now the whole point is to build support. I'm trying to build support. Your organization opposes. I am showing you organizations that support. And I will continue to do this. And they are diverse. They represent America, just as the opposition does. And that's what I will continue to do. And now we will move forward.